the bell icon to turn on notifications. Excel has a number of database functions which are more powerful than the normal filter and sort capabilities or the simple count and sum if formulas. These formulas are known as database functions and they always start with the letter D. In this module, we will be discussing some database functions like dsum, dAverage, dCountA, dMax, and dMin. But before we go into the database functions, let's have a quick look at our data set. We have already used a variation of this data set. However, there is another column that is added, which is the years in service. This data set includes both numerical and alphabetical information, but let's not worry about that. Firstly, let me explain how we use database functions. We previously discussed an approach when we were discussing how to tackle complicated OR criteria. And that approach is going to help us when we tackle database functions. So what we need to do is we need to have the criteria listed out separately. And then when we are writing the formula, we need to refer back to that criteria that we have listed out. So currently on the right hand side in the cells that are highlighted, there is no criteria, but we can just create some criteria right now. So let's say we are interested in a subset of data where the years in service is six and the salary is above 60,000. So when we write the criteria in one line, this is an AND criteria. So we are interested in finding out the sums or the averages for employees where the years in service is six and the salary is above 60,000. So how do we calculate the sum of these employees? So we can begin by typing equals D sum, left parenthesis. I select the entire data set. Then the field that I'm interested in is the salary field, and that is column nine. If I count from here, I'll type in nine. And then the criteria is the one that we've just listed out. So I'll just select that criteria, right parenthesis, enter. So the sum of employees where the years in service is six and the salary is above 60,000 is 216,000. So let's just cross check that using the Excel filter. So I'll select the years in service as six. Okay, and then I will select the salary above 60,000. 60,000. And the sum is 216,000. So let me just unfilter and go back. So that's 216,000. So this formula is very powerful. Rather than filtering for the data, and then adding it, you can just use the database function d sum. Let's see how the d average function works. But before we do that, let's change the criteria and make it slightly more complicated. Now, let's say that we are interested in finding the average salary for employees where the years in service is six and above 60,000, or the age is above 25. So for the D average, I'll begin by typing D average, left parenthesis. I select the database again. I go back to the field. So the field again would be column nine. And then the criteria, I select this criteria over here. Right parenthesis, enter. Let me just format the number here by using the comma and decrease the decimal places. So the average, that meets this criteria is 75,749. As we have added another layer of OR criteria on top of the AND criteria, things have gotten a little complicated. The most efficient way to process this kind of data set that meets these requirements are the D functions. Now let's say we want to count the number of non-blank cells that fulfill this criteria. How do we go about doing that? It's simple equals d count a left parenthesis select the database select the field which is the salary field or column number nine and then the criteria we can select this criteria or we can add another line over here so let's go with this criteria for now there are 37 non-blank cells that meet this criteria in the salary column 
Now we would like to calculate the maximum salary that fulfills the first criteria. How do we go about doing that? I'll type dmax. Again, we select the whole database. We select field number nine, which is the salary column. And then we select the first line of criteria that we have laid out. Right parenthesis, enter. So the maximum salary that fulfills this criteria is 83,000. And then what about the minimum salary? D min, left parenthesis, selecting the entire data set, adding the field number, and selecting the criteria. Right parenthesis, enter. So just like that, using these database functions, we are able to quantify the data set that fulfills this criteria. The good thing about this is that you do not have to manually add the cells after sorting and filtering data. You can also update your criteria very easily. As we already have the database, we already have the criteria section. And if we have to change this criteria as it's all linked, the formulas are going to be dynamic and you'll get the results in real time. So if we change the years of service from six to four, see how the numbers are going to change. There we go. If the age needs to be above 30, there we go. Database functions, starting with the letter D, are specifically created to deal with databases. The good thing about these database functions is that the syntax of the formula remains unchanged. You select the entire database first, then you select the column number or the field that you're interested in, and then you select the criteria. Please note that the criteria needs to be identified before you proceed with your calculations. After the criteria is laid out and the formulas are mapped to the specific criteria, you can change your criteria very quickly. All you need to do is to change the criteria that you originally laid out. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.